Hey everybody, how's it going? Many of you know now that I'm a huge fan of finding older vehicles to try to film and video. There's just not a whole lot of videos out there on YouTube of older vehicles, and especially mint vehicles. So today, let's take an in-depth tour of this nearly mint condition 1990 Toyota Camry LE V6. And this is going to be a full in-depth tour of the Camry. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, take it on a short test drive, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at my family's dealership, Car Connections Incorporated, in Reedsville, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's get started up, let it run. It's a white exterior with blue cloth interior, electrically assisted seat belts, beautiful shape. This vehicle only has 49,287 original documented miles. It was a one owner vehicle, always garage kept. I always think it's so neat getting to check out these older vehicles, especially the mint condition ones. Because it's basically giving you a backwards look at the automotive industry as if it was a brand new car back in the day. Fires right up. Loud projecting horn, very smooth power assisted steering. This generation of Camry also came with outer driver or passenger side airbag, but this one does come with the optional four speed automatic transmission with overdrive. With the overdrive selector here, as well as transmission sport modes, normal as well as power for extra sportier driving characteristics. A five-speed manual is also available. Let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, as well as the hazards. It's got an automatic driver's side window. And let's go and check the exterior, shall we? This has always been one of my favorite generations of the Toyota Camry. Glass headlamps. It's simplistic design and many standard features with the choice of a V6 or a four-cylinder power plant and made for quite a competitive vehicle back in the day. Right along with the automotive styling, definitely a more rectangular vehicle. This traditional style for many um, Japanese automakers back in the day. It also featured modest amounts of little chrome trim here and there and you'll see that throughout the video, such as right below the headlights. Chrome accented black door guards running down the vehicle as well with chrome accented rockers. Standard 15 inch steel wheels with full wheel covers. This is the same Camry generation also the Lexus ES250 was based off of when it was debuted. Does have a full power sunroof. Beautiful glossy exterior as well. Standard Camrys also didn't come with the painted front and rear bumpers. They were standard just black. Polished dual exhaust tips. And we're going to pop the hood. This Camry V6 with an MSRP originally of around $17,078 came with a 2.5 liter 24 valve V6. 
It produces 156 horsepower and 160 foot-pounds of torque. It's a multi-point fuel injection system with an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating on regular unleaded gas of around 19 city, 25 highway, with a fuel tank capacity of around 15.9 gallons. Bulletproof power plant. Also, interior build quality is quite fantastic. With plenty of soft touch material, as well as modest chrome max inning, such as across the doors here, even the door handles, instead of being the chrome tape over plastic that's on a lot of new cars these days, these are actually really chrome plated. Got some more accenting down below. Carpeted lower portion of the door panel, as well as insert here. Your lower storage pocket, power windows, power locks, Power mirrors are located up on the dash here. In this LE, you also have a power sliding, tilting driver's seat with manual recline, wrapped in velour cloth, extremely soft, and very comfortable. Your lower lap belt comes out here that you put in to the slot there. Logoed floor mats, your trunk and fuel cap release, manually tilting steering wheel, and your dash mounted speakers for your audio system. And let's go and see if she sounds. Very smooth power plant. Very little vibration transfers into the cabin. I'm going to shut her up. Standard four speaker audio system, AM, FM with integrated tape deck. See some more chrome accenting. The clip here is actually held on by magnets. All of your preset stations located down below. Equalizer settings for bass, treble, balance, and fade, and your different radio modes. Manual, simple to use climate control with your different zones. Recycling or vent, one touch AC. And your rear defrost is located up here. Gear selector indicators located up there. Low gear selection. And indicating your um, selectable transmission settings for normal and power as I explained earlier. Clean comprehensive set of gauge clusters. Little digital clock there. Activation of your cruise control. Hazards. And also located around the middle of the steering wheel as well as up here and around the dash is integration of this faux stitching material. Actually gives it the appearance of being a much higher quality vehicle. I'm often a big fan of stuff like that. It's just a little bit of accenting that really makes the interior kind of kind of pop so to speak. Manually dimming rear view mirror.
ashtray, cup holders, and your lighter and power outlet. Down below here, you have a little emergency exit lever. Then if you pull up, in case of an accident, it actually releases the tension on these shoulder belts since they're power actuated to come over in case it's you're trapped in, it's holding you in. That way you can easily exit the vehicle. And if you have it lifted, a little light will flash telling you to put it back down. Padded stitch center console with modest storage. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Got to push this little lock to release the key. And we're going to check out the rest of the vehicle. Starting out with the back seat. Do you have a modest amount of rear space? Pretty good for a mid sized vehicle. Also, in the same beautiful blue cloth interior. I do have the seat pretty much all the way back in this one, and it is a little bit tight on legroom. Good solid doors. Rear illumination. You also have little coat hooks on the back of this here. Pop the trunk and the fuel cap. It's got a huge trunk with gray carpet. Your jack and wheel locks. Spare tires located underneath. You also have manual lumbar in the driver's seat. I think I failed to mention that earlier. Manual passenger seat. Good size glove box. All the books, records, service records. Really kept after. What a neat vehicle. Especially to find one in this good of shape. Definitely a nice vehicle for someone. And it's gonna take a quick drive.
pretty decent handling around the curves. delivered in a nice smooth manner. Shifts are nice and fluid. It's very good visibility in the Camry as well with plenty of glass, quarter windows in the back to break up the C pillar. Suspension is also pretty soft, soaking up those bumps on the city and the highway, creating a nice pleasant ride. Overall, there's really not much to complain about about this generation of Camry. I just think this one has such a distinctive styling characteristic than any of the other ones in the 90s that came afterwards. Yeah, it's definitely not the fastest thing in the world, but it's not, to meant, not meant to be as well. And let's go ahead and switch it to power mode. And we'll get a little acceleration pass. Definitely has more zippy acceleration, a little bit quicker shifts, but like I said, it's no sports or race car, so take it with a grain of salt. The point is it's a very smooth, very seamless shifting vehicle, actually very quiet also, there's not hardly any wind noise. You could definitely really appreciate it a lot more in person and driving it yourself to really experience how how really good the build quality is on these vehicles. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth tour on this 1990 Toyota Camry LE V6. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.